and they are separated because her commitment is over. She no longer has a commitment to woo. And if you put them together, she'd beat the living daylights out of me because her commitment is 18 months. She gives you absolutely no wiggle room at all. They're gone. But if she could get away from you in the wild, let's say if you were in the wild, if she could get away from you, she would try to get away from you. If you married the very bad mistake of cornering, cornering her or frightening her, you're going to need emergency care. She's going to come through you. So yeah, she can hurt you. So they, they just look sweet, they're not. It's rare. So two bears on you. She's going to go off you now. She will be off you approximately 15 minutes. There will be a bear on the other side for you to view. We don't walk in with them. They are bears. You lock her down. Now that will give the keeper the safety she needs to come out and clean up breakfast and bring out lunch. We're not a zoo exhibit. We are a research station in hopes of saving pandas from extinction through the breeding program in China. And here, uh, we glean a better understanding of their biology, behavior, and nutrition. So now that the gate is open and Jennifer is going to appear, there's Jennifer. She's going to tether down, and that's Kathy. So Kathy is going to uh, gather up all the droppings and shards of bamboo, and, and Jennifer will gather up all of the large pieces of bamboo. And she will weigh those, and that will tell you how much the bear ate for breakfast oh my gosh. and dinner. Uh, on the other side of the rock wall is Shelly Wu. So if you're looking for baby bear, he is now a teenage bear. He is three. He was born here July 29, 2012. He will be moving to China once uh, China notifies us and we have three months to get him ready to move to the homeland of China. And he's never been to China, but he will move and become part of that breeding program in China. China here. So once you get a picture of Wu Bear, he's the only bear out right now. Uh, he will be full grown at six. He'll be anywhere from two to three hundred pounds at six years old. Why don't you get a picture of Shelly Wu, sharing your spot? Oh, yeah. So we're getting Bayoun's lunch ready for her. She's off view at the present time. It'll be approximately 15 minutes before she comes back out again. So I only have the one bear out. Shelly Wu is three, born here July 29, 2003. So why don't you get a picture of Wu, sharing your spot? Oh, I do not have a bear in the first station for 15 Pose. minutes. Pose. Pose. <laughs> <laughs>
bear. By Jennifer Kime Q. And she's putting biscuits in there, and some of them are wet, so they're easy to cook. Mm -hmm. Well, she's going to have a blast with that. We supplement their diet, apples, carrots, yams, a small fiber biscuit. So she's placed a lot of fiber biscuits into the queue. And by you all to have cut at 21. And the only female panda outside of China and in our country to have six cubs survive longer than four days. Super panda mom. On the other side of the rock wall, Carol is Shelly Wu. Yes, okay. Uh, once baby bear, now teenage bear is on the other side of the rock wall. He is three, so she has no commitment to him whatsoever now. And he is independent from his mom. Uh, Shelly Wu, now that he is three years old, he will move to China. Once we are notified, then China uh, will come and take him to uh, the homeland and he will become part of that breeding program in China. So five of them have already moved on to China to fulfill that loan agreement and Shelly Wu will also move as well. So feel comfortable to move around people. Make sure that strollers and motorized carts can get around as well. Please make sure that they can get through. Okay, I, I need to ask you to lower your voices. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So feel real comfortable to move around people. She's giving you the back photo moment. And she's working with a cube. Inside the cube are biscuits, and she put a lot of biscuits in there. Anything that requires a challenge by Yun likes. Um, young Shelly Wu on the other side, the three-year-old, he's the same way. Anything that gives She's not challenge. Color. She knows colors. And she would probably be smart enough to figure it out. You know, if you can get a, a bear to give you a urine sample on command for a red apple, that's pretty smart. If you hold up the green apple, you're not getting a sample. So she's a very smart bear. Uh, how many of you understand two languages? Probably a lot of you, yeah. Uh, she understands two languages. She understands Chinese as well as English. Because when she came to us in 1996, she looked at me like I was a foreigner. I was. She was Chinese, I'm English. And she didn't understand one word I said. And within two and a half months, she knew everything I said to her. So uh, they are amazing, amazing bears. 
We do not give animals enough credit for what they do. There's about 1,800 left in the wild in southeastern China. is 18 months. She no longer has a commitment. She does not give you any wiggle room whatsoever. You know, we give you a lot of wiggle room. You know, you'll come and go, come and go. Sometimes they never go. But we have a lifelong commitment to our children. Not 18 years, lifelong. And a panda bear has an 18 month commitment. That's it. Male pandas have no commitments. Male pandas do not support people.